Yeah, this is September 29th, 2017. Friday morning. And with the earthquake thing burdening my spirit, like this has been for a couple of months, that I didn't set a day. I just, I was burdened at like, Earthquakes could start in October, you know, of 2017. And so I'll just tell, this happened to me one time before. And I lived in Oklahoma, so I'll just tell what happened, what came to pass. It was 2011, and about October of 2011, that word earthquake kept going through my spirit. It was like troubling me. And I asked people around there, you know, did, did they have earthquakes there? And they said they couldn't remember any and, you know, hadn't ever really, you know, seen any significant earthquakes before. So about another month passes and, you know, I keep, I keep getting it. Well, I think it's November the 6th, 2011. I go to bed about nine and then all of a sudden about 10 or 10 30 at night my bed's going back and forth across the floor and I knew what it was and sure enough I got up and looked and they had had a preliminary 5.6 in Prague, Oklahoma, that did a lot of damage, out to the west of where I was. And then the next night on the 7th, I went to bed. That was a preliminary 4.9. My bed shook again the next night, back to back. And everybody was talking about how they'd never had an earthquake there, or, you know, a bad one like that that did damage and... And you know, that's what came to pass about two months after I had that in 2011. So it came to pass in 2015. I felt another one just barely that was 3.9. Uh, the 5.0 that was a preliminary 5.3 that damaged Cushing, Oklahoma. The facades and some things like that had some damage. Big Onan had some damage. That one rocked my world pretty good where I was. But it come a Saturday morning, September the 3rd, 2016, Seven o'clock in the morning, just had to get up. In the apartment, every board goes to popping, and the lights kind of flash right before. Sound like a big rumble of thunder and like a jet airplane. And every board in that downstairs apartment is popping and cracking. I mean, it's about like I could about just guarantee that that top was going to fall. And, I, and you know, I, I, I was like, I'm going to get out. Well, shaking so bad, I couldn't even hardly walk across the floor. And and you know, you can look at that one online. The, the Pony September 3rd, 2016 earthquake. And look at that grocery store over in Pawnee, White's Food Liner, and how everything was in the floor. And around the area that I was in, my neighbor had the two of the back windows of his house that busted them out and rocked the piers out from under his foundation in one room and the floor in one of his rooms fell all the way down on the ground and that earthquake did quite a bit of damage.
out there and along with that I felt you know I just I heard the windows buzz you know a couple of times when they would have you know a little one and then they had a bunch of them and they had one in Tulsa and you know I I didn't feel that one for some reason but that was Tulsa and before the bad earthquake started I felt an earthquake burden on my spirit like this. You know, that, that time before, and a lot of people around here in Georgia and the southeast hadn't really been in a significant, you know, a moderate earthquake is what that, uh, the final reading on that was a 5.8, preliminary 5.6. And... Those things are rocky world. I mean, even a moderate earthquake, rocky world. Pretty good. And the last time I felt an earthquake burden, when I, during my eight years in Oklahoma, that's what came to pass. So I'll just leave it there. I'm having the same thing again. Been on my heart for real heavy for about a month and started about two months ago that, you know, in October, the earthquakes would start. Again, not setting a date. Go pray over that. And again, remember the word I said. If it gets bad, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And it's better to take death rather than the mark. And I had a dream, and here was the warning about that. You know, if we should be faced with that, it said this. Never ever take this mark, meaning the mark of the beast. And it said, if you do, lest you go to hell. It said it twice. It's better to take death than the mark if you're ever faced with that situation because you'll get to go to heaven and be with Jesus forever. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what God's word says. I can't think of the scripture verse exactly but that's in that bible and that's what to do a bad earthquake situation should we run into another one have a blessed day